Well, here we are. It's Election Day 2010, one of our favorite days here at Direct Online Marketing. So we thought we'd take a look at what some of the various social media properties are doing out there because there's some pretty neat things going on. We'll take a look at Foursquare to begin with. And they've put together an interactive map where you can see where people are checking in throughout the country. And if you look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see that uh, it's moving throughout the day. Uh, it also shows you total number of check-ins, the number of different venues that are checked in, those are polling locations, and a gender breakdown split. Also, if you click on any of these tabs, you can see more information about the particular state pop up with the uh, gender breakdown and the total number of check-ins. For Facebook users out there, you probably noticed that when you logged in today, there was a big screen up there um, telling you to vote, at least if you're here in the United States. And it took you directly to this page, which is their headquarters. Now, when you click on the map, it gives you a way to find out where your particular polling location is. Honestly, it freaks me out a little bit because uh, it asks you for your home address. And if there's one thing I don't want to do, it's give more information to Facebook and to Google. But you can go ahead and type in information. Here, we're just going to use our address here at work. And you should see that we're now going to get a poll that is closest to us. And then as you log into Facebook, you're going to see how many people throughout the day are choosing to signify to Facebook that they voted. Let me get the little push pin here, and you can also get directions. So if you have no concerns about privacy, kind of a neat little thing to do. Another one of our favorites, and might be my favorite of all of the ones that we've seen uh, is the New York Times and they've put together a map that shows all the different Twitter messages of what people have been saying out there about the various uh, senatorial and gubernatorial candidates throughout the election and it actually tracks back a couple weeks all the way back to October 21st so once you start playing, you'll see that it pops up, and it actually has candidates' names in there as well, so that you can see what's being said about the particular candidates. The bigger the circle, the more information that's being said. The only thing I'd like to see on here as well is if there was a way to get some semantics out of it. For example, we see a big circle for Rand Paul right now. How much of that is positive sentiment versus how much of that is negative sentiment. And I'm sure in the next generation of these, we're going to find something like that. And then finally, the last one we're going to take a look at is Yahoo's Ask America. And it's an actual forum where you can show, uh, you can see what other people are saying and voice your own opinions by various topics or even by states. A little disappointed that they don't have a full list of states. But as you can see, you can go down here and choose something that's interesting to you. And then they're going to pop up with information asking you to log in and to vote. And what's most interesting is to me is to not just how do people uh, answer this question. Are they for, are they against a particular um, question that Yahoo poses? but it actually allows people to sound off as well. So you see their notes pop up um, and you can read what people are saying all across the country or in your particular state.